All right, so let's hop into build mode and we'll go in here and let's see, we've got our summer layer is turned on. And so now I'm gonna go to fall and turn that one on. All right, so that's like a different set of trees there. And so for fall, I'm going to, um, and I also wanna make sure that my fall layer is the active layer because that's where I'm adding these objects. All right, so I clicked on that layer number six, which is fall. It, it lingers behind, it stays black, and that, that lets me know that um, that is the current layer that we're adding objects to. So I'll go back to place mode, and let's just add some fall people. All right, so I'll go to our people here, and you know I'm not gonna add a ton of people in here. We'll just go to um, the first page, and somebody that would look like they're in fall attire. I mean, uh, this couple here, they've got like com some longer coats on, and uh, let's see, someone who's obviously kind of fallish, you know, she has a scarf going on. And let's just go to page two and see if we can find one more. This is gonna be our winter character, I can tell that right now. Um, yeah, she might be okay for, for fall, okay. So we've got some fall objects in there and you can see now that those are controlled by the layer number six, fall. And we want some more fall objects, all right? So I'm gonna go over here and let's go to place mode again. And this time I'm gonna go over to effects, all right? And then here we have leaves and you've got like all these different falling leaves. These are super cool, all right? And you can hold H and you can like move those leaves up and down, you know, wherever you want them to be falling. Um, that looks pretty good right there. And so I'm just gonna add some some leaves to each one of these. And I know it's a little overkill, but that's uh, looks cool to me. So we'll shrink those down like that and click. And then I'll put my cursor under this tree, hold L and shrink those down as well like that and click. And let's just add all these leaves in, why not? We'll just go nuts with it. All right, like that. And we'll add one more right here, hold L, shrink this thing down and click. All right, let's check our view. I, I, I do this often, I just click on photo mode, I go back, um, here's my summer view, and then here's my, um, my fall view, so I'll store that camera. And you can see that we do have our leaves falling, um, and we've got our fall people, so we're in good shape. And I'm gonna go back to build mode, we wanna add some, some leaves in the gutter, and maybe some leaves under the trees, so let's do that. Again, back to build mode, we are on the uh, place object tab and I'm gonna go to our nature library. And on the nature library, we have a leaf collection. And here you can see we've got like uh, birch, uh, those are kind of cool. Maybe we'll go with the big one. Again, I'm just kind of exaggerating. And I did find that like when you're adding these leaves in here, you, you need to like lift them just a little bit up. They, they kind of fall below the grass, so, um, you know, not too far, something like that seems to be better. All right, like that, and we'll just add these in. Yeah, it's fine, I'll click there, and uh, just kind of scoot around, and click here, and here, and here. Okay, so there's all of our, our leaves, and then again, if you just search around in here, we've got like elm leaves lining the gutter. Um, I know that like right here, we're gonna have a good look, and if I hold R, uh, or I'm sorry, go back to our place mode and hold R. Uh, it kind of snaps to the model a little better. Uh, so we'll go like that, hold M, place this in the gutter or something like that, I think. If I hold Alt, I can make a copy of this. And then if I hold R, I can kind of spin it around like that and then hold M. And if you hold Shift, it'll, it'll lock it like on the um, Y axis um, like that. All right. So that looks pretty good. And then I think the last thing I would do here is go to our uh, leaves and you know maybe I'd try and throw some uh, leaves in the street like this, uh, place those and hold R. And again, like that helps me kind of align with the model. And then I can um, move it using that move tool and hold Alt to make copies and just get those leaves kind of scattered all over the place here. Um, that'll look pretty cool. And I think that these are gonna show up too. So again, I'm, I'm, uh, I wanna make sure that I'm only really working where I know it's gonna matter. So that's why I always go back and kinda check my camera views. 
uh, because it's easy to get carried away and start modeling everything. All right. So we've got our leaves in the gutter. We've got a ton of leaves falling out of these trees. It is a windy day here. And um, so I think that we're, we're pretty close. Um, we're, we're good to go on our actual entourage objects. But, um, you know, that's, that's one part of this. So now we need to load our base effect stack and then work in the... Um, work in the right blend of effects to tell that story of that uh, crisp fall day. All right, so I'm gonna go to uh, menu, file, load effects, and we're gonna load up our base effects. And I'm gonna go to my layer visibility and make sure that uh, my fall layer is turned on. And then we can go back here and really real sky is what always sets the tone. So I'll go to my real skies and choose a different real sky. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna go, I think cloudy is the right choice. So we used like a clear day for summer. We'll use a cloudy day for fall. Uh, I'm pretty satisfied with where that landed. Again, you could always tweak the heading and um, let's just keep rocking here. We can go to um, page one. I don't need to mess with skylight. Don't need to mess with shadow, reflection, perspective, handheld camera. We're good on all of these. Um, our layer visibility is set up. And then we're gonna go with, um, basically we're gonna do color correction. And for this one, maybe I'll make it a little bit cooler. I don't know, um, you know, you don't wanna go too far. And it's definitely not a warm feeling on that day. You know, we want it to be a little bit cooler in color. And you know, the, the saturation, maybe you wanna mess with that, you know, if you want it to be more or less saturated. Um, for this particular one, maybe just a touch of saturation that we'll get in our colors. And what's gonna be really important to tell the story of a fall day is going to be our autumn, uh, autumn colors. And let me just verify, layer visibility is set to layer number six, fall, okay? So I'm gonna add a new effect, and that's gonna be under weather and climate of autumn colors. And we're gonna only affect layer number six. All right, and so now what I can do is change the hue of, of these trees, all right? So you can see how it's kind of changing. And it took me a while to really get the hang of this. And so what I found is that like, if I set the hue first and then um, change the variation, I think it was, uh, yeah, I don't want a lot of variation. I want a little bit more range, uh, maybe just a little bit of variation. But if you go too nuts on these sliders, they, they tend to go like to s these, these weird colors that are super red. Um, and so I'm gonna back off that range and then you can mess with your saturation, of course, and make it like, you know, real saturated, you know, orange and yellow. But I think I've achieved a pretty good effect there. Uh, but, you know, if you ever find that like you're, you're kind of getting out of whack, just delete the effect and, and add it back on and, and start from scratch. Uh, so that looks good. Uh, we've got our fall colors, we've got our fall people. And then the last part of this, this is what I was talking about with that wet asphalt material. I can go to my effects and I can add a precipitation effect. Now, I don't want it to be raining. I want it to have just rained. So I'm gonna turn the particle quantity all the way down and I'm gonna turn the extra fog addition all the way down. And look at that, we no longer have wet asphalt, we have wet everything. So it's like it just rained on the concrete, on the uh, curbs everything got wet and then you can choose you know what phase is this in you know was it like uh either you know just a little bit or is it that it's you know really um soaking wet out there i think that's super cool so um really psyched about the new precipitation effect and the control it gives you uh to really tell the story much better i mean wet asphalt was really cool but now it's just everything's wet so perfect